Sports sparring's over, right? Yeah. That was your whole season. You know, every day's about about feeling good. Thanks, right? Coach. Yeah, this is it, buddy. It's exciting, man. I'm excited for you. And what a great matchup, huh? The semifinals are set, and, and I think it's going to be a couple of great fights. Let's let's finish the job. He's got lucky two times. Now he's about to hit a brick wall. Artem of Team McGregor will be taking on Julian of Team Faber. But before they fight, two McGregor teammates are going to square off. Marcin versus Saul. It's a good fight, Marcin Saul. It's going to be another good fight. We said it right from the thing, you will end up fighting. Get in, do what you've got to do. Handle your training this week, handle your weight, and get in and fight. You made the best man win. You sat, you, Marcin, you've experienced what it's like, Saul. You sat ringside and experienced what it's like. And this is all business here. Well, let's let's get rid of them now. They don't. They shouldn't be even this far. Marcin comes to fight, and Saul comes to fight. It's just business. There's no. There's not. It's not weird here. They are not teammates either. Let's let's be honest here. They came into the show to win the show. They were put together on a team, but they're not, you know, they're not really teammates back home. So mm, it's 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 nothing. It's what we expected. I said to them, remember who you're here for. Remember, you're here for you, nobody else. Huh? It's like you're being too fish, you know, like when I'm like, I want to beat, I want to beat him. Yeah. But then is my friend as well, man. And for me as well, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm just helping you guys. Cannot help you or not help you. The coaching side of it's just the same as any session. We both grab the guys we need, they work with us just the same. I mean, it doesn't make a difference if Marches sees what I'm training. I don't think it really bothers him if I see what he's training. And we've been training together for the last six weeks, so three days of training is not really going to change much come fight day. <laughs> My game plan is obviously go balls to the wall, you know, uh, I think uh, if I let him play his game I'll be stuck underneath him, so uh, my game plan is to avoid it and and, and uh, exchange punches. Uh, I'm not really sure, I don't really have a game plan, just do as I do normally, adapt to the situation, but I find my wrestling and my top game, especially on the ground, is better than marching's. So I think I'll maybe look to take him down, control him on the um, ground, and then finish him with ground and pound. That's the plan. I'm fighting one of my teammates. I mean, out of all the guys in the house, I'm probably closest to uh, marching and Artem, so I didn't really want to fight one of them too, but I'm here for myself. I'm here to win. It is what it is. We're going to fight, have a drink afterwards, and get on with our careers. He's definitely one of the toughest guys here, you know, skilled everywhere, good wrestler, good striker, good grappling jiu-jitsu. I'm really excited about this fight, you know, that will be a really big test for me and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Marcin versus Saul should be a great matchup. It's always interesting watching two teammates face off. They've trained together all season. They know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Now it's about who's mentally tougher and who can go in and impose their will and control the fight. Connor said it right at the beginning, but we're all going to be fighting each other, which we are. So afterwards, we're going to go back to being mates and Definitely share a beer. Marcin's a good guy. Definitely think I was an underdog in all of my fights, but I don't mind this position, you know, I feel I can perform better. 
I'm one of the smallest guys here, and the people have been kind of looking, looking past me, you know, but that's a big mistake. Salamar Sam was a good, clean fight. Sal's very heavy in his pressure. He's got good single leg entries and he switched into the double nice early. It was a pretty one-sided fight. Sal did a great job of being the aggressor and then he got the takedowns and was able to do some damage on the bottom. Sal basically made Morrison work the whole time. Let's get it on. In the second round, there's no doubt that Saul was the aggressor and was really taking it to Marcin. Uh, he got the takedown, literally grinded him and wore him out, and then eventually locks in a rear naked choke. It was a very impressive win for him. Winner by rear naked choke, Saul. <laughs> I feel great, I got the win. It's a shame it was against Marcin. He's one of my good friends in the house, but as I said from day one, I'm here for me, I'm here for my family and my kids. It's all business, I'll share a beer with him afterwards, but I'm over the moon that I'm in the finale. Hey, this, this, this choke, this choke will choke me on the, on the jaw, I can yeah. ring on the jaw, but it was so tight. Congratulations, Saul, you know, he's a cool guy and a tough opponent. I think he was the toughest seed in a whole tournament. Uh, it feels a little uh, heartbroken, uh, to be honest, because it was so close, but yeah, so far it was. Overall, I'm happy I took a part in the show and uh, definitely grew as a person because of that. When I see Julian fight, I'm thinking, give me him, give me Julian. You won't need judges in my fight. I'm gonna go for a hat trick. I want a third knockout. I'm not sure if that has ever been done on the Ultimate Fighter, and if it has, then I just wanna repeat that. Because this is what pays. Knockouts pay. Julian has an unusual style, he moves a lot. That kind of style can be very frustrating. So my main concern is just to stay calm, be patient, and find that one shot, because all I need is one shot. What's up, boys? How are you? How are you? I'm uh, feeling so, Yeah, good. How's the body, legs, everything? Let me see your face. Adam is fighting Julian now. Julian's light on his feet. He backs off a lot. He plays that game well. He has beat the two of our guys with that approach, but Adam will track him down and KO him. The key to victory is to focus on ring control. If you go in and you get lazy with him and start walking around and circling with him, and then it's a 50-50 fight. Nice! I want him switched on, hunting, cutting the cage, banging his shots. I want him to react off Julian's singles. Julian is a single shot fighter. He comes in with the teep, he comes in with the straight. That's the shot. Off the kick, left hand, right hook. So much power in him. That's, that's all I want him to react off them teeps. Yeah. Oop, boom, boom. Oh, Adam has good ring knowledge. He's very aware of octagon control. And he just needs to use it. In the last fight, he didn't use it. He began to use it towards the end and then KO'd him, so... He will use it early, and he will knock him out. Every time, you're banging that shot. Beautiful. Time. Adam has been around with me. We've been on this journey a long, long time. Many, many wars and so many areas of the globe we fought on. So many little small shows for no reward whatsoever. It's been a long, long road. And that's it. Just go in and be dominant with position. Yeah. Yeah. It's all. only been two and a half years since Connor made his debut in Sweden. I still remember staying in that little hotel room. I had to sleep on the floor. We couldn't afford an extra room. And now I came over to Las Vegas for his last fight and staying in a massive mansion. You know, you see all these things, but you still find it hard to believe. You just It just feels like I'm living a dream right now. And now I get to be part of that dream. I get to go out in front of millions of people and perform, showcase my skill. 
I think there are many great fighters on Team Faber, as there are many great fighters on my team. But I feel the approach that is taken when training is very different. I laid it out to the best of my knowledge, and I feel everyone has responded well. They realize that this is the correct way it must be done. I wasn't trying to get emotionally attached to any of these people, but that's what happened. It's an experience of a lifetime, this is. I look back on this with good memories. To see them all train in the gym, to see the fights get into the house and their stories, and then just to watch it all unfold. It's perfect. It really is a, a great experience, and I'm grateful for the opportunity. <laughs> I'm gonna go out there and fight like a <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. I know that when it comes to fighting, Julian is gonna be serious. But you know, he has he has built this persona for himself of a bit of a clown. So like my butt looks good. Oh very nice. Everyone makes their own choices. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think Juicy's got a great chance of beating Artem. I think barring Artem catch him with something big and rocking him at some point, Juicy should be able to control the pace of the fight. He should be able to control the offense in the fight. And I think probably the better fighter all the way around. So, um, And we also know that Artem doesn't mind getting kicked in the head. He drops his hands and marches forward. And Juicy's got some really strong kicks. That's probably one of his best attributes. He's so agile with his legs. Good job, time to relax a little bit. That was good for a little bit now. Just get that first one in. I need that. Hey, pressure Daisy going in there. How are you feeling good? Nice and loose. Artem, right, in his previous fight, he went out with a little bit of lack of respect for his opponent. He felt like his opponent didn't deserve to be there, so I want to send Artem into this one switched on. Let's go in and put this away. Let's go in, hands flowy. Now we have a clear picture of what Julian's about. He hits, he runs, he teeps. He teeps and runs. He hits singles and he hits soft. Be patient, be calm, and be switched on with the cage control. That's it. Three KOs in a row. I'll see us out there, boys, eh? With Julian's singular approach, he will eventually overextend on a shot. Artem will slip and bang and put him away. Hey. What up? Last day. Oh, look at them! Huh? I didn't think I didn't think I'd see you again. You're back around. Good to see you, my friend. I didn't think I'd see him again. So Connor walks into the gym, and who's sitting over on Team Faber's side? Jose Aldo. I didn't know what to expect from Connor if he was going to go crazy, if they're both going to go crazy, but it was actually pretty mellow. Aldo was supposed to fight Connor but had to pull out due to a rib injury, and it's a massive fight. It is a massive fight. So Connor ends up winning the interim title. Jose Aldo is the pound for pound best fighter in the world and the only featherweight champion ever in UFC history. Now they're set to finally face off December 12th in Las Vegas, decide once and for all who is the featherweight champion of the UFC. Jose is a runner. He is known for pulling out contests, but I must say, it's good to see him. Let's do this. I never think about winning or losing. I love fighting for fighting. I don't worry about points. I don't care about the points. Points are just an opinion, an opinion of three judges. So I try not to let it go there and just end the fight without the decision. Julian knows that I have power. He has seen me destroy two of his teammates. At the back of his mind, that fear is there. Julian. Christmas is over. Some people would think it would put more pressure on me to be the last American standing, but it doesn't matter if there was 17 Europeans and me. I'm still going to try to go out and win every single fight. I'm still going to try to win this show because that's what I'm here for. They're really confident in Artem's ability to knock someone out, but I'm not going to give him that opportunity. He's only comfortable in one spot, and that's just flat on his feet throwing bombs. I'm way more dynamic of a fighter, and I'm going to make it uncomfortable for him. It's just going to be awesome to see Connor's face when I beat his boy. <laughs> this 
sight. Artem is actually Connor's training partner. And you could tell that they came up with a good game plan coming into this fight. Julian, you know, was trying to keep his distance, but Artem kept closing it, and it was only a matter of time before Artem caught him with one of those big shots. Julian's a phenomenal fighter, but he's a single shot fighter. Julian tried to hit and run. Artem punted him down. Julian was looking to escape. He could not escape. He overextended on a right hand. Arthur banged the left hook. First round KO. Every single fight, Arthur wins. My emotions get the better of me, and I scale the octagon. And I got punished for it today. I jumped in the cage and ripped my brand new pants, but. It is what it is. It was worth it to see my teammate go out and do what he done. Back to back to back, first round KOs. I've never been more prouder in my life. I told him after, I said, with that knockout money, you can buy me new pants. Pants <laughs> I love it. That's three KOs, yeah, I know. They brought me back into the house and I believe I proved that Dana's decision's right. I got three KOs, no one else got a KO, so I definitely added some excitement. I represented my countries with pride and honor. My flags are covered in blood of my enemies and I will enter the final fight ready to kill and prepared to die. Winner by KO and advancing, Artem Lobov. Get in there! Raise that flag! Raise that flag! For many years ago, Artem walked into the gym and he was there to fight. He was always competitive, he'd always show up. If you ever needed rounds or if you ever needed anything, Adam was always there. Beast! He's been with me a long time, especially recently with this journey. We've went on the world tour together. He came out here to Las Vegas with me. He's been in Las Vegas with me the past four months. Money shot. Yeah. It's air shot that was, yeah, yeah that's air it shot. Is. It's been a long, long road. And to see it all shape up the way it has, I'm ecstatic. I've never been more happy in my life. Respect, brother. Hard look, man. Respect. Hey. Respect. They're a solid, solid fighter. Solid fighter. This is actually a great season with some very exciting fights. I am very impressed with how deep the talent pool is in Europe. And even though Connor initially said, I'm not going to get involved and you guys are either going to make it or you're not, he actually ended up being a very, very good coach and, and was very motivating to the guys. You know what? He was right. The Europeans took out the Americans, and now we're looking at an all-European finale. Congratulations, yeah. brother. Congratulations, my man. Artem has been a huge surprise. The guy gets a second chance to come back in, and he knocks out three guys. That's the most impressive display of power we've ever had in The Ultimate Fighter. Ladies. Ladies first. The biggest fight of the year. It's the biggest gate we've ever done. Nine million dollar gate. The world will be watching this fight. Ooh. Conor McGregor, who is the interim featherweight champion versus the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, Jose Aldo, has not been beat in 10 years. Ireland versus Brazil. It's going to be one of the biggest fights ever in UFC history. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it now this time. Don't, don't pull out this time. There's no more pulling out this. You're either going to do it now or you're never going to do it. Your legacy, your career is done. I wish him a safe training camp and let's do this fight. Awesome. Thank you, guys. I will be there December 12th. Whether he's there or not, 